Argentina is not alone in trying to get cleaner energy. Cuba is also getting into the act as well, opening its first solar energy part. It's part of a broader government project to produce 10% of its energy from renewable sources by the year 2030. Michael Voss takes us on tour. If there's one thing Cuba has in abundance, it's sunshine. This solar park in the central province of Cienfuegos marks the country's first attempt to commercially harness solar radiation. The five hectare site is currently generating one megawatt of power. That's due to almost triple in September once all 14,000 photovoltaic panels have been connected to the national grid. Enough to meet the energy needs of at least 2,000 homes. This is the first of seven such parks which will be built throughout the country over the next few years. Photovoltaic solar energy is one of several government agencies created to develop a national program for renewable sources of energy. Today, the system could produce over 400 mg of solar power, and we are working toward this year by year, dependent on our ability to install these solar panels throughout the country. Cuba currently produces enough oil from onshore and coastal wells to meet around half of its annual energy needs. It believes it has major deep water deposits offshore, but recent exploratory wells all came up empty. Now the government's pushing ahead with developing renewable sources, including wind farms and power stations fired by sugarcane biomass. Cuba believes that it's in a good position to take advantage of solar energy. It's so near the tropics that even on cloudy days like today, the panels are still producing electricity. The solar panels are built with Chinese components assembled in Cuba. Now there are discussions with neighboring Jamaica to help develop solar power there. Michael Voss, CCTV, Cienfuegos, Cuba.